Welcome back to ORA Orthopedics and Rock Valley Physical Therapy special series called Bike School. I'm Anna Perry, physical therapist with Rock Valley Physical Therapy. Finding your first bike can seem very intimidating. Today we're going to learn how to select and get fitted for the right bike. We'll also check out the mandatory bike accessories you'll need for safe riding. I'll be talking with Jeff Bradley, a former Olympic and Tour de France cyclist who now owns the Trek Bike Store here in Davenport, Iowa. Well, we see basically four categories of cyclists when they come in the store. We've got uh, the recreational rider, which would ride a hybrid bike. Um, we have a little bit more of a competitive rider, say they're doing ragbri, would ride a road bike. Um, and then we have maybe an off-road rider who rides on the trails who would ride a mountain bike. And then we have a new category, uh, it's an electric assist bike for someone, maybe a couple who are used to riding together, but one can't keep up anymore, so they have an electric assist to help them. Hybrid is a more, it's a, it's a more upright sitting bike. Um, very comfortable. Um, all of your controls are right at your fingertips. Easy to ride bike. So for a hybrid bike rider, we're gonna have a range in price from 350 to about $800 for a comfortable bike to ride on the bike path. For a road bike customer, they're generally a little bit more aggressive. Um, it's a drop handlebar, more aggressive bike that you would use for maybe rag bri or, or maybe some racing or triathlons. Well, a road bike is it's the oldest category of bike. It's been around forever. Um, it's the most aerodynamic, most efficient for going out and putting on lots of miles. The materials for a road bike vary quite a lot. It used to be everything was steel, now they're using a lot of aluminum and carbon fiber and the carbon fiber is more on the on the pricey end. So the price range of a road bike you're looking anywhere from six hundred up to oh my gosh eight thousand, nine thousand dollars we we sell a few of those. The mountain bike rider is going to be someone who wants to ride off road in the woods through the trails and, and the bike itself is is a lot different from a road bike or a hybrid bike. It's going to have knobby tires it's going to have a suspension fork. It's going to have a very wide range of gears for handling all the different terrains of the off-road world. And the cost is going to be anywhere between, you know, an entry-level bike at around 400 bucks all the way up to probably seven, eight thousand dollars if you really want all the bells and whistles. So the newest type of bike that we're dealing with is it's called an, an e-bike or an electric assist bike and basically what it is is it's, it's a bike that has a battery and a motor that actually assists as you pedal so it's not it's not a bike that has a throttle that that you just hit and, and can take off you actually have to pedal the bike and it's ideal for it's ideal for for maybe a couple who are used to riding together and they no longer can maybe someone just can't go that fast anymore the e-bike assist allows couples to still ride together. So the e-bike is, it's been around for five or six years. It's really, it's really ideal for the senior cyclist. Um, and the price range of an e-bike, they're not, they're not cheap. They start out at around $2,000 and go up to about six. So you've decided you want a bike and you know what kind. It's time to get fitted. Fitting starts from the bottom up starts at the pedal. This is where you transfer all of your force into the bike to make it go. So you're gonna want that big knuckle of your big toe, the ball of your foot, over the spindle or the middle of that pedal. So that's where all of your force is gonna go through. Next, you're gonna move up. Look at the knee. So when you're pedaling and that knee is in the three o'clock position, you really want that kneecap to be right over that spindle, maybe a little bit forward. When that leg is all the way down and furthest away from you, you want a little bend left in your knee. You don't want it all the way locked out and rocking side to side, but you don't want it really bent either. So the knee position is really going to be decided by how high or low your seat is or how forward and back your seat is. And this can be tricky. You're gonna have to play with it a lot. At a bike shop, they might help you set that up to begin with. But take your time because this is really gonna decide how happy your knees are on the bike. So once we get your feet and knees set, let's look on up the trunk. 
your trunk angle for beginners are going to be about 45 degrees relative to the ground. This is going to be a nice relaxed position and it's going to make your back the happiest to start out. Once your trunk is in that forward bent position, your arms are gonna be gently out in front of you, about 90 degrees, with a little bit of bend left in your elbows. You don't want your elbows locked all the way out. This is gonna be uncomfortable and also difficult to control your bike. All right, Jeff, we have the right bike with the right fit. What else do we need? Well, I think we're gonna start with the most important, the crash helmet. So this is, this is gonna protect you in case of an accident. Hopefully you never have to use it. But this is, this is gonna sit on top of your head and it should fit, it should fit snug, much like a stocking cap. You don't want it too tight, you don't want it too loose, and it needs to set, set level, level on your head. You've got a dial back here to change the tension so it's nice and snug, and that's gonna, that's gonna do the trick in case you have an accident, so very important. Thanks for joining us. In our third and final segment, we'll go over the rules for the road for safe cycling and share with you some excellent resources for bicycling in the Quad City area. 